We know that IV ketamine therapy works faster and allows for better response and remission in the treatment of depression, suicidal ideation, PTSD, anxiety, and other mood disorders relative to other treatments, including oral and nasal spray ketamine. Basically, it does this through glutamate bursts that result in neuroplasticity and the repair of damaged neural networks in key areas of the brain that allow for balanced neurotransmission that improve mood and cognition. For many, though, the expense and the time to get to your local ketamine infusion center may be an issue. Also, there's the question of maintenance therapy after the initial infusions. Ketamine treatments generally will only last for several weeks and do require some maintenance therapies. At home, ketamine therapy is safe and effective in producing relief from depression as well as maintenance of mood in between ketamine infusions. Options for at-home ketamine therapy include ready-to-dissolve tablets, which are chalky, explosive little ketamine tablets that rapidly dissolve under the tongue to release their dose. This has an advantage because of not just rapidly dissolving, but also because the medication is released quickly and enters the system quickly as well. Trochies are another option of treatment. They are waxy and slow to dissolve. They take several minutes to release their medication. Just as in the ready-to-dissolve tablets, trochees taste poorly but can be flavored to a certain extent. Both of these formulations will be absorbed by about 20% of the total medication dose over several minutes while it's under your tongue. It's absorbed in the venous plexus under the tongue itself. So if you get a 100 milligram troche, about 20 milligrams is what you're going to ultimately get over several minutes. Now this do dose can certainly be adjusted per your prescription and your needs. If you have no prior experience with this treatment, starting at a lower dose may be helpful to determine the clinically effective dose for you. Doses such as 25 to 100 milligrams may be used initially based on the size, weight, age, and condition being treated as determined by your physician. Again, the doses are adjusted based on clinical outcomes and not necessarily a journey. If you're using oral treatments for ketamine-assisted uh, psychotherapy or CAP therapy, then doses should be adjusted in a way to lubricate the therapy process, not necessarily for dissociation alone. Effects of the oral therapy can be noticed within five to 10 minutes after you start the treatment and can vary in the way that they are perceived from person to person. Some will report an intoxicated, altered feeling with changes in sensory perception as they start to notice the effects settle in. The experience lasts for about 30 to 50 minutes and is most intense at the beginning portion of the treatment. The main side effects are nausea, dizziness, and some people will get insomnia if they take the dose too late in the day. Others will notice balance issues that last for a few hours after the treatment is done. Swallowing the liquid from the trochee or RDT can certainly prolong the effects of ketamine and can increase the risk of nausea, so many people will spit out the liquid after holding it under their tongue for about 10 minutes. Now, ketamine nasal spray is another option to rapidly augment treatment response. Spravato is S-ketamine alone, as opposed to R and S-ketamine that's a 50-50 mixture in the compounded ketamine or in the infused ketamine that we use in IV clinics. About 40% of a nasal spray dose is rapidly absorbed and each spray can be adjusted for clinical need. And they can range anywhere from such as 5 milligrams per spray to 10 milligrams per spray up to 20 milligrams per 0.1 ml spray. And so this can be used to prolong CAP sessions that are basically started off with oral ketamine. These formulations are created at compounding pharmacies made per your prescription.